Hey, it's Erin from Book Things and Baubles, and today I'm going to teach you how to make curved text in Inkscape. This is something that when I first got my Glowforge and I was thinking about what I wanted to print and make, the idea of having curved text and like a keychain or a sign was something that was really appealing to me, but it took me a little while to actually uh, figure out how to do it in Inkscape. So today I want to show you how to do it. And since I've been looking to add some more keychains into my shop, I thought that I would just have you come along for the ride as I make a new design for the Glowforge in Inkscape with specifically curved text. I've already done a video on um, adding text to your designs with Inkscape and making them fit for the Glowforge, so if you haven't seen that and are interested, I'll link it up here. But anyway, to get started, you're going to want to open up Inkscape, and I am just going to uh, click on the circle button. I'm going to hold down control and drag out a circle. I'm thinking for the keychain that I want to make. I want it to be about two inches round, so I'm just going to switch from millimeters to inches and then lock the circle and then set it to two inches. And then I'm going to zoom in so that I can see better what I'm doing. And then I'm going to just want to Again, create another little circle. This one, I think I want to be, yeah, about 1.25 inches round. And this is going to be the hole for our keychain. So I'm just going to center that in the center of my circle using the align and distribute, which I think you can find under object and then align and distribute. So. I'm going to center that in the middle, and now I just have the basic uh, circle for my keychain. Next, I'm going to add in a picture, a clip art kind of picture of a temple. Um, those of you who watched my best selling items of 2021 video will know that I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and so a lot of the things in my shop are geared towards um, other faithful members of that community, and so today I'm going to try making a temple keychain. So, because, spoiler alert, temple signs were one of my big bestsellers from last year, so I'm just trying to branch out from that. Okay, so I've got my design added in. Very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of this um, to purple. Purple is what I use for things that are going to be engraved on the Glowforge, so I'm just going to change that right away. Basically, when you are working with Inkscape and uh, planning on something to put into the Glowforge, you are just going to want to change and make sure that for the different functions you want the Glowforge to do, there are different colors um, associated with that. So the black is going to be cut and the purple is going to be engraved in this design. And I think that's about as big as I want it. Um, because there is like a, a steeple on it, I don't want it to be too big or else I won't have room for the words up here. And so next I am again using the align and distribute. I'm just going to center the temple picture and then I'm also going to lower it down a little bit. Okay, so now we're getting to how to add uh, curved text. So we have our circle and I am going to want my text to kind of follow the curve of this circle. The idea is that there's going to be text right here above the temple and then maybe some text below the temple as well. So then what you want to do is click on the text tool and just type your text. So I want this to say I love to see on the top curve and then on the bottom curve I want it to say the temple. That's kind of just a saying that we have in our church and so it's a simple one that everybody's going to know. And then I'm going to change the font to something a little more pretty. 
I have a ton of fonts downloaded, so I have a lot of fonts to choose from. A lot of these fonts I either found for free on the internet to download, or I bought uh, font bundles on um, designbundles.net. So there's that. Okay, so now the fun part. I am going to select my first text box that says I love to see, and then I'm going to shift click the circle. So now both the text box and the circle are selected. Then I'm going to go to text, and I'm going to go to text and select put on path. Okay, so now you can see that I've got my curved text, it's on the circle, but it's not where I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click inside of this circle. You'll see that the corners changed to this little curved arrow. I'm going to select that curved arrow and drag it around until my text is where I want it to be. It seems like you have to kind of drag it further than you want to to get it to stay where you want it to stay. but. It just takes a little bit of finessing. Okay, so that's about where I want that. And don't worry, we will clean everything up and put it back nice and pretty in a minute. And then I'm going to select the temple and again, shift click the circle, go to text, and again, select put on path. So now the temple uh, is on that path as well. Okay. So the temple is there. It's not where we want it to be. We want it to be following the opposite curve of I love to see. So basically what you need to do is select the flip selected objects vertically. So we want to flip, oh, hold on. Okay. So now I'm going to select the temple and I'm going to flip it. Oh crap. <laughs> It worked earlier when I wanted to do it. Okay, so we're going to do this. Select the circle, uh, text, I'm going to remove it from the path, and then I'm going to put it on the path again, and then I'm going to flip it vertically. And I don't understand why it's flipping that one. Okay. I think I know what's wrong. And <laughs> again, you guys know I always have to mess something up whenever I make a video like this. You know, it works really well when I am doing it by myself and then as soon as I step in front of the camera, I mess something up. So, but I promise that this works, but I think I know what's wrong. So I am going to, now that I have the temple the way that I want it, I'm going to go to um, path and object to path. So now this shouldn't be connected with the circle anymore. And I think now we can do um, I love to see and make that the way we want it without it switching up the temple. So we're going to do remove, excuse me, remove from path. And then we are going to put it back on the path and then we're going to flip it again. Okay. Yep, that did work. So now I've got I love to see the way I want it. I am going to turn that again into a path. So go path, object to path. Okay, so now all of these pieces are their own separate elements. I think what I'm going to do is first off, move everything out of the way, and I am going to get my keychain repositioned. So get everything centered there. And then I'm going to add in, I love to see on its nice curve. I'm gonna try and get that kind of up as close as I can. And then I'm going to send up to the top as close as I can. And then I'm going to center it. I'm not too worried that those are overlapping. It'll be fine. But while I'm thinking about it, I do want to change um, this to purple. And I want to change this to purple because they're going to be engraved. And then this one, I think we just need to tilt it a little to get it how we want it. And then we'll center that. 
that should be good. And then we'll add in our temple. We'll center that horizontally and vertically. And I think I can actually make the temple a little bigger, which is nice. Uh, that. Let's see. Let's, then we'll just move it up a little bit. Okay, so that is how you can create curved text designs to put into your Glowforge using Inkscape. Anyway, I hope that you found that helpful. I am so excited that I know this now and I feel like I can make some really awesome and good looking keychains and designs for my shop with it. So hopefully this is helpful as you are uh, designing and creating things in Inkscape to use in your Glowforge. Um, as always, if you have any questions about the Glowforge or about Inkscape, feel free to leave them in the comments below or you are free to message me on Instagram. Um, I just love answering questions for you guys. But if you are interested in Glowforge content, I make these videos every single Wednesday. So everything from tips and tricks to materials to working with Inkscape. So. Um, if those are subjects that interest you, please consider subscribing. And if you're looking into purchasing a Glowforge of your own, I would really appreciate it if you used my referral link. I've got it linked down in the description. But basically what that link does is if you click it and use it to order your Glowforge, you will get money off of the Glowforge and then I will also um, get credits, which really help me and my business to grow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys are having a great day. And I will see you next week. Bye.